Can you make one of the devices go off? Here it goes. Thank you. This sounds like somebody just came through the fence. But if you can go ahead and make a very, very loud noise for us. <gasps> what the f fuck? What was that? What was that? I was looking up the bridge like, again. And it came from over here. With over three years of experience in hunting for the paranormal and well over 80 investigations under their belt, Ghost Club Paranormal has certified themselves as a reliable and intriguing paranormal investigator. With many tools at their disposal and willingness to try anything within their ghost hunts, they are trusted by their audience to deliver some of the best investigations that YouTube has to offer. But this wasn't always the way for Ghost Club Paranormal, and their rise to the top wasn't as simple as many think. This is the devilish rise of Ghost Club Paranormal. To understand the story of Ghost Club Paranormal, it's best to go back to the beginning, before YouTube and before the ghost hunting, and find out why this now infamous page has come to be. But I'm from Scotland. I've lived in California for like the last 11 years. Um, but it was back in Scotland, I think just growing up in the UK in general, not just Scotland, but somewhere yeah, yeah. where there is so much history. I don't think people understand over here anyway that you know, ghost stories was a part of our upbringing. Like, yeah. you heard them from your uncle, your grandpa, like, when you're there out on a stroll and they come back, like, a woman just came up to me and, and said something and asked me, like, oh, what way to the golf course? And I pointed, oh, that way. And then I realized, I said, why is, it, why is what's there an old woman doing out here? Turns around and disappeared. The first time I ever saw a ghost, um, it wasn't when I was out on a ghost tour or anything like that, but it was when I was younger. My dad, my stepmom, me, my brother and my sister staying in the house for like two weeks. Right. And anyway, we had went to the video store. We got back to the flat. We we're on the second story and we get back to the flat and all of a sudden, like my dad says that he's going out for a cigarette. He goes out for a cigarette. My brother follows him outside. I'm looking at my stepmom and I'm saying, what video are we going to watch first? I'll get it ready for when he comes back. She was like, oh, go and ask him. I don't know what one he wants to watch first. So I go outside in the stairwell yeah, and thinking that he's smoking in the stairwell. Because again, back in those days, that's what you done. And he wasn't there. And I thought that him and my brother were like hiding from me or like playing a joke on me because I felt like I was being watched. Right. And so I look all the way up to the top of the stairwell and I'm shouting, dad, dad, and nothing. And I look down and dad and nothing. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go out. Maybe he meant that he was going outside onto the street. So I walked down and I went right up to the front door. And I remember when I got to the door that leads out to the street, I just got this really unnerving sense, like this feeling, like do not right. open the door, mm -hmm. which was weird because as a kid, I was allowed to play it on the street. Like I always opened that door and I opened the door and he's not there. And I look left and right on the street and I'm shouting, dad, dad, and he's not there. I close the door. I start walking back up to the, the apartment, which is on the second story. And just as I get to that, just as I get to the front door at the, at the apartment, I'm like, he's here, so he's here, he's playing a joke on me. I look up and I shout, Dad! And then when I look down, there's just a woman, just appeared out of absolute nowhere. There's a woman, she's floating about three feet above the ground, oh, and she's God. at the very bottom of the staircase. And it was like an old spiral staircase, and she's at the bottom, and I'm standing there in shock, because I was just down there. She was nowhere to be seen down there. And she just slowly starts like kind of floating up around the staircase and she's coming towards me and she says to me dad walk up the street and she was in head to toe full like covered in almost like rags like old right like, black yeah, rags yeah. she looked terrifying like she looked scary but i couldn't see her face because she had a hood on right and okay she comes up and she says dad walk up the street and just as she got a little bit too close for comfort, I just 
bolted into the house. Ghost Club Paranormal is a paranormal investigation YouTube channel that has amassed well over 35,000 subscribers in the three years that they've been making content. The page is run by Jade and the investigations are conducted by the Ghost Club Paranormal team as they hunt for proof of the paranormal. Jade would upload her first YouTube video on the 15th of June 2020. I tried to start a YouTube channel when I was like 20, 21 when I first like moved over here and that didn't go anywhere and then just it's always been something that i've wanted to do like i've always yeah. been wanting i love you know just documenting things and you know come hang out with me my friends and that kind of thing a whole month after initially making her channel she would upload her first video titled i documented my haunted house and may have summoned a demon within the video jade would provide a bit of background about herself and she would also provide some stories about some spooky things that she'd encountered in the past which led her to creating the ghost club paranormal channel all right okay first off i just want to welcome you to my channel ghost club it's a Official and super super excited. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey. My name is Jade. This is where I'm going to be uploading all my paranormal investigations. Um, little videos like this one just here. I have Q&As, little stories, things like that. This video would provide a great platform for the humble creator to start out her journey and connect with new viewers with comments like You are truly an unusual fascinating person. Your Halloween party decorations prove that you are a serious student of the unusual. Awesome video. Loved this new subscriber finally got around to watching your channel in november of 2020 great first episode and will be working my way through the others subscribed as well jade would actually respond to this comment with thank you spoiler they get better showing the confidence that she had in the content that she had to cut and this was enough to get the fans excited and convince them to hang around to see what was to come. The fans wouldn't need to wait long though, as Jade's next video titled Spirit Box with a very haunted doll would be uploaded only eight days later. During this video, Jade ordered a supposedly haunted doll called Aurora. She gets the doll out of the packaging and instantly investigates using an EMF meter and spirit box and even puts her cat near the doll as it was said that the doll can make animals feel uneasy. I'm not getting any readings uh, from the EMF detector, so I'm gonna leave the EMF detector on as well, just in case there is a spike. Since it said that she taunts animals, I want to see how my cats respond to her. Give me something. Oh my god, what do you think? It seems like Zelda's fine with her. So I have the PSB7 spirit box here. Hi Aurora, if you're here with me, can you please talk into this device right here? Aurora, do you know who I am? It's like a man's voice that just came through. Aurora, my name is Jade and this is your new home. Do you like it? Can you tell me how old you are? Seven. So on the description it says that she was eight, but she just said seven, clearly. Do you like playing with toys? With toys? That's what I heard. Okay. I have a toy for you. Did you want to see it? Here, let me get it for you. chills all over my body right now. This is so cool. Thank you so much for communicating with me. I have a wind-up toy here for you that you can have. Do you like it? Hey. Yay! 
The next couple of videos would be more stories of Jade's adventures before picking up the camera. But one that does stand out as a little bit different is where Jade follows the trend from early 2020, and that was randonauting. This style of video was huge for this period, with many YouTubers posting their crazy encounters whilst following the creepy app. This video would also be the first one where we follow Jade outside of her house, as she's led to some spooky things. I'm gonna go back on the app, and I am gonna focus hard Harder than I have ever focused in my entire life on the intent and hopefully it comes up my intent bear with me it's gonna be a cat and you may be wondering why a cat the only object that I really focused in on was pumpkin and guess what it's the middle of July and uh, I end up finding a pumpkin that is a little bit strange cat okay Cat. I really, really hope this does work. Whether it will or not, we'll find out. Okay, focus on your intent. Cat, 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 meow, meow, cat. Come on, cats. In half a mile, the destination is on your left. Like, am I missing it or something? 541? 545, 549? weird is on the other side. I'm gonna go in this street right here and see if it wants me to go behind. <gasps> guys. 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 What the actual hell? I am like freaking out right now. What? Oh my God. Two cats. Oh my God. Okay, everybody's looking at me because I literally like slammed on my friggin' brakes. Oh my God. Two cats. Guys, what is going on? <laughs> I need to pull over. The community loved this style of video from Ghost Club Paranormal. Jade would then go on to make more videos, but she'd come across some popularity when the video trigger warning my intense journey through past life regression would gain over 22,000 views. During the video, Jade would go under hypnosis to try and discover what or who she was in a past life. And this is what she found out. Do you know what name they call you in that lifetime? Beth. And how does Beth feel there emotionally? Happy. I'm going to bring you back, Beth, being 10 years old, so we can see you with your family. When I count to three, you'll be Beth at 10 years old, sitting around a meal with your family. One, two, three. You're there. You're 10 years old as Beth with your family around a meal. Can you see the mother figure? Yes. What is she wearing? She's wearing a long white dress, short sleeved and it's buttoned up, and it has a collar on it. She's okay. laughing, and she's really happy. Good. And can you see the father figure here? Yes. And how does he feel? Is he warm and loving too, or cool, or stern? Or the... He's warm and loving. And do you have any siblings there? Yes. How many? Two. And how do you feel as this 10-year-old little girl, Beth, with this family? I feel quiet, but happy, and observant. We're going to move forward then to when you're 20 years old. Where are you now, and what are you doing? I'm going to get punched by the, in the punch bowl, and there's people dancing around me, music. And how does it feel to be there? Really good. And do you have your eye on anyone you'd like to dance with? No. Nobody in particular. Okay. Do you have any significant boyfriend or married yet at 20? No. Okay. Move further to when you're 25. You're 25 now. Where are you now? What are you doing? I'm crying. I'm 
What's wrong? I'm, I don't know. I'm crying and I'm on the floor. You're crying on the floor. Let's go back to see what made you cry. And I count to three, you'll back, be back there so you can see what it is. One, two, three. You're there. You're back just before you started crying. What happened? Your husband came home and hit you. Hit the baby. But hit the baby. Yeah. And how old is the baby? God, six months. This video would perform well because it opened the floor for the fans of Ghost Club Paranormal to talk about their experiences whilst undergoing a past life regression, which would boost the interactions and then push it on YouTube's algorithm, expanding the Ghost Club Paranormal fan base. Things were looking incredible for Ghost Club Paranormal and things were only gonna get better when Jade uploaded the video, Shadow Person Captured at Mitzpah Hotel, where in the description, Jade would say, in this episode, I captured on camera one of my most compelling pieces of evidence to date. Michael and I stay the night at America's most haunted hotel and investigate the basement where two criminals were murdered. Was it possibly one of these men stalking us in the basement? Go around the corner there. It's uh, basically like a small corridor and that's where we felt, me and my coworker, we And this clip would not disappoint with a very clear shadow figure captured on camera. And with comments like, Okay, first off, it's so awesome that you captured that shadow. Second, you got me good with the closet scare. Thoroughly enjoyed this, Jade. An absolutely fantastic investigation. Loved how it was filmed too. Definitely my favourite paranormal investigator to watch on YouTube. Keep it up. But this clip did also bring some scepticism. I think the shadow was just an illusion. A blending of Michael's clothing and the door frame. Which would be followed up by a response that states I agree with you. It's a reflection from Michael's shadow. It's imperfect sync. But Jay didn't care about any pushback. She knew that she was onto something with her channel and she doubled down on the investigations with videos like these where she'd continue to paranormal investigate or explore spooky locations. Jade's content would continue like this for a few months with an array of different styles of videos including investigations and videos on how to create a spirit portal all varying in different levels of success with views ranging from 5,000 to 25,000. On the 13th of June 2021, a year after creating her channel, Jade would upload a special with the 10 best paranormal captures that she'd had to date. And it was filled with some of the creepiest clips that the internet had ever seen. Can you make one of the devices go off? There it goes. Thank you. Come into this room with us. Your impulse goes away. Run past me. Run pots going off over there. Can you make one of the other devices in the doorway go off, please? Wow. Here we go, over Just here as well. One. Both of them are going off. Good job. Okay, ready for the grand finale, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear that? Okay, that's fine. If you don't want to knock one of the dolls over, I want you to go to the... Wait, my REM pod's off. Oh, it's completely off. Yeah, my REM pod is completely off. I just realized that the light's not even on. It must have drained the battery, maybe. But it must have drained the battery because you just changed it. Jade, I heard that, that yes. <laughs> Continue on our investigation, but the REM pod still hasn't went off yet, so, um... It's 
It sounds like it. Sounds like somebody just came through the fence. <gasps> but if you can go ahead and make a very, very loud noise for us, just so we know that you are here with us. <gasps> what what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, Michael? My heart is going like what the fuck was that by august of 2021 jade had found her style the video editing was rapidly improving and so was her thumbnails leading to much more enjoyable viewing for the ghost club paranormal fan base and as a result of this the views on every video was creeping up then the video unholy church house would be the proof of this with the video garnering just under 50,000 views what I've been getting is uh, when we were in the church, I actually didn't feel anything like negative or anything. Yeah. Apart from that one room that we went into that was like super, super hot in the basement, that was kind of giving me like weird vibes. But this house is kind of like that same feeling. It does, This yeah. house feels darker than the church itself. Yeah. I think we've got our work cut out for us, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. How's yeah. your back feeling? Sorry. Hey, is still it burning? burning. Yeah, it yeah. is still burning? Yeah. Jeez. That is a big scratch, too. Let's go. Yeah, and also, guys, just so you know, my battery's already at 50%. Really? Wow. I hope you got a lot of batteries. Give me a look just one more time. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> guys, he literally just asked me to look one more time. Look at what this. No. Come here. No, no, Come no, here. No, 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 no. No. Now we, now you, Ooh, and wow. look, that one actually, like, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but look at that. That literally looks like a cross right there. It does. It does. And the only one we saw was that one at first, right? There's, that's, so these just that's like one, manifested. two, three, four. No, I'm being we, so serious. Like, Jim is not this type of person. Like, he's not making this yeah, shit up. I'm going to take a photo real fast. Yeah. That's crazy. Right. Your arm shaking a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We haven't even started. Why, why, why would it be attracted to me? I have no idea. That's well, the only thing that I can think of. Yeah. That's the new one. Jasmine, I think me and uh, Victor are ready to take our coats off. So I don't know what you want to do about that, Jen. Like I know that this is like it's. This is a thing, like, it's uh, this is real, like, this is actually happening, like, it's not just a show, like, it's really, really not, like, so many people on YouTube and stuff like that, they think oh, yeah, that people yeah. make this shit up, yeah. and it's, uh, this is fucking real. Yeah. For sure it's not the priest. I, I know the priest personally. It's um, not friendly. It, no, the priest is not the one. It's something else. I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to think of that's an ongoing thing tonight. So, yeah, no, I totally understand. Like, so totally then that understand. already debunks, like, maybe, oh, maybe he did it, like, trying to cross over. No, because you don't that. Right, exactly. It's already debunked. This video would serve to be the Ghost Club Paranormal's scariest video to date with some intense, terrifying footage being captured. The following video uploaded by Jade was a little bit different. It was more of a vlog style, behind the scenes chat. This type of content would allow the fans of Ghost Club Paranormal to see who Jade was as a person, rather than the investigator. These videos served as the perfect opportunity for Jade to speak directly to her haters. But she didn't just speak about the haters though. She in fact made their comments into a song. So last night I picked up my ukulele and uh, I went to go write a song and you know, I didn't really, the juices weren't really flowing really or anything like that because to be honest, my entire life for the past year and almost a half now has been Ghost Club, it has been the internet, it has been social media. That was not me like to years ago so I had the idea that I was gonna write a song about some of the more interesting comments that I get from YouTube but the underlying message behind this song is doesn't matter what anybody thinks 
be yourself, do what you want to do, do what makes you happy, literally fuck everybody else. Who is she? And who does she think she is? Just because she's born, she thinks she's the boys. Is a lady from Scotland? What's up with the fake accent? Wow. Does have an accent. Don't know where she's from, but she should move to Patrick's show. My god, another ghost chaser that can't speak English. If you cannot handle the jandle and be a bit serious, then why are you on here? Sorry, I'll be unsubscribing. Who is she? So that's my song. Um, that's the PG version as well. So I wanted to do it for fun, but I also just wanted to do it to let you guys know that um, the comments don't bother me anymore. They used to bother me and I used to get caught up in it and stuff like that, but I really just don't care anymore. As long as you stay true to yourself, I promise you good things will come. She then goes on to say that the comments don't bother her anymore, though they did used to. That was all the comments that I saw and it was like, it was horrible it was snowballing and just like Man. these girls just one after another and i'm like trying to stand up for myself this is the first time i've ever dealt with yeah, hate comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm responding back to them obviously i know not to do that anymore so and it just played in my mind for a few days and then finally i was just like i'm just gonna write a song about it I'm i'm just gonna you know and i did and then i just released it on my episode and stuff like that and then since then, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Like, that's pretty much what happened. That's where the song came from. Um, now, you know, if somebody wants to comment something negative, I will remove it if it's to do with my friends or somebody who I'm collaborating with. I'll yeah. always remove those comments. I don't want to see, like, any negative comments about my friends or that. If it's a negative comment about me, I'll leave it up there. Jade would then continue to upload her vlogs and paranormal investigations, which would go on to be quite successful, ranging from 20,000 to 80,000 views, and would be filled with terrifying activity. But on the 5th of February, 2022, Jade's channel was about to take a huge uptick. The video titled Intense Paranormal Activity at Corriganville house was about to take ghost club paranormal from a relatively unknown channel to one that was about to challenge some of the youtube heavyweights within the niche when i first moved here i thought it was really pretty and in, in like nature and i love wildlife and and um i didn't know anything about the history before moving here and i didn't even know about corganville i didn't know what corganville was i'd never heard of it corganville park these trails are charged with spiritual energy from throughout history. Locals report hearing Native American chanting echoing through the mountains, unexplained orbs and even doppelgangers. Security guards have witnessed groups of people dressed in black robes entering the park at night, and this may explain some of the ritualistic symbols and altars that are found throughout the park today. Hundreds of mysterious murders and suicides have led locals to believe there's a darker force that could be luring people into the park. Despite this being sacred land blessed by indigenous people, this land has been a spot for cult rituals and satanic worshipping. 
There's a spiritual warfare going on, and one resident who lives on the land feels the direct effects of the multiple spirits on her property, and she reached out to us for help. I was scared to death. I thought, well, what the hell was going on? I thought, does this mean that I'm gonna die? Am I, I thought, I didn't know. But look, there's no reason. Still here? Yeah, you, we're still here, and so are you. Leave. This is like a weird, I don't know if you want to call it omen. If I could leave this place, I would. But I feel that there's something that needs to be put to rest here. It's recording. I didn't even press record. It's what? Recording. It's re Park. Don't go there at night. It's not, um, people say, oh, well, spirits can't kill you. Oh, they, they, you don't know that for sure. You really don't know that for sure. The video would go on to gather 508,000 views, which was leagues above any other video that Jade had posted to this point. And because of the raging success of this video, Ghost Club Paranormal gained over 12,500 subscribers in the month of February 2022, which was an eye-watering amount. Considering before this point, Ghost Club Paranormal would gain an average of 250 subscribers per month. Jade would then capitalize on this success by trying to replicate the style that she'd pulled off in this video that made it so viral. This did work as her next videos were successful, but she wouldn't get another viral video until two months later when the extremely haunted witch's cabin video would be uploaded. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Did you hear that? I did. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was either. It sounded like it came from like upstairs. If that was somebody trying to communicate, can you do that again? I'm gonna stop this real fast. If there's any spirits here with us right now, can you please walk over to the device that is set on this dresser here? Can you go up to the microphone? Can you tell us your name? You know what's weird is, I don't know if you noticed this, but in that recording it sounded like there was like a lot of shuffling and a lot of walking about and stuff like that, but we were standing still. Yeah. It sounded like like scuffles, you know, yeah. and like taps like on the dresser and things like that. That was kind of weird. It sounded like a coat, but we're not wearing coats either. Like yeah. a, like a, you know? Yeah. I don't know. That was kind of interesting. Did you hear that? What was that? I have no freaking idea. It was coming from over here. I don't know if that was coming from the office or if that was coming from the basement. Let's lighten up. Oh! Let's Sorry. Lighten up. Holy cow, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Wow. Want to um, kick on your ovulus? Yeah. And see I, if we get any. Did you put my phone yeah. over, over here? Right. Oh. The video went on to gain 128,000 views. From this point, Jade's content has become more refined, finessed, and perfected. With better transitions, hosting of videos, and cinematography. Her videos would rival that of the Paranormies, who are very well known for their beautifully shot and well put together videos. This helped every video to go from her once average of 20,000 views per video to well over 50,000 views, which would work in YouTube's algorithm, seeing Ghost Club Paranormal gain more monthly subscribers than ever before. Although things were going incredibly well for Ghost Club Paranormal behind the scenes, things were about to take a very dark turn, as Jade would be followed home by something demonic after a paranormal 
paranormal investigation. Jade would document this attachment in a three-part video, starting with the video titled Demon Caught on Camera. Shocking. A week later, the second part would be uploaded. Sadly, after this investigation, Jade didn't insist that no one followed her home, which unfortunately would be exactly what happened, as she had some horrifying encounters in her house and started to experience paranormal activity even when she wasn't trying to seek it out. Closest friend. Oh <gasps> my god. Could you um just record me doing this? Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm burning up. Me too. I know, it was cold like a, f a few minutes ago. When we first came in here, it was cold. Demonic entities just don't give a shit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, I already feel entities. like I ha already have a demonic attachment, like from right. my previous investigation. And we don't want to worsen it. I feel, like, said, I feel like it's warning us, mm -hmm. and that's why nothing. <gasps> wow. Oh my god, did you hear that? Ask it again. Ask it again. <gasps> if there are any children here, you don't have to be scared. You can talk to us and you can tell us your story. You don't have to be scared. You can talk to us and you can tell us your story. Do because I want to show them. I just fucking oh, pulled can, up. Can you? Can you grab it? This is a screenshot. Two weeks later, the dramatic finale to this story was uploaded with the video, The Demon in My House Exorcism, being uploaded. The video takes place three weeks after the initial camping investigation in part one. And in the video, Jade invites over Michael, a local psychic medium, to try and help her move on the demonic spirit that seems to have followed her home. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm good. Wow, this place is really nice. This is my uh, big house reveal. Nobody's seen it on the channel yet. Look at this. Wow, you just want them to come into your house, don't you? Oh, all the spirits? Yes. Yeah. Look at you. You got mirrors over there, <laughs> mirrors over there. Yes. Hi. I've got three. Cool. They keep the bad spirits away. I've so, heard. So I've heard. <laughs> not to just jump in, but... Um, yeah. What made you think there might be activity or some type of energy here? You feel there is? Yeah, so um, I have had a few experiences since I moved in and it was mm -hmm. pretty much right off the bat. Okay. Oh, yeah. really? Wow. Yeah, like like literally from the second right we on. got the keys. Oh. Yeah. So just having a little peep around the new house. This is really weird because something spooky has already happened. I you not i noticed that there was like all this stuff on the floor and it was like this stuff here and this was all over in front of the toilet right here and then i realized inside the toilet was uh this vase that the previous owner had left like some things up on shelves and you can clearly see that this is the spot that it was in here for whatever reason Something, I don't even know how this is possible, somehow managed to fall all the way into the toilet. I, I don't know. I, try and explain that one. Um, I feel like a, a walkthrough would be good and then um, then I can kind of go over everything with you because there's a lot to catch up great. on. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. It's actually really true though. I don't know if I've explained this either, but um, I do live in Simi Valley now. I know I've done a lot of paranormal investigations in Simi Valley. I actually wanted to move here to be closer to the action. <laughs> be careful funny, what right? you wish for because I'm literally living in the action now, so. There's a heavy vibe between there and where I'm standing. I feel it's a male energy. In this one circle, as I was turning, I started feeling my body shake. So I was just wondering if there, there was activity in this area, so. I was literally just editing the new episode. I came through here to get some water. The second I walked into the kitchen, these lights started flicker. Oh, there we go. I've never ever seen that. Oh my god. Okay. And I just heard a tap coming from behind me. 
My heart is actually racing right now. But yeah, this is where I felt most so far. Okay. Can I go this way? Of course, yeah. I'm not really sure which way I'm going, but this room draws me, and I don't know why, but this room the most draws me at this particular point. Like, I feel really cold right now on my left shoulder, okay. so I'm picking up most of the energy coming from over here. The room that you were looking in just now, like this the, one, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is just the spare room. This is my closet. Okay. I feel there's three. Oh, there's, there's okay. There's a, a quantity of three energies that I feel in the house. I felt drawn. Um, did somebody pass in this bathroom? Do you know? I am not 100% sure if somebody's this, passed this in that house, bathroom. This house... And I'm going to tell you this right now, honestly, uh -huh. even though I'm not seeing anything right now, the vibe that it's going through my body right now is super strong. So today is the day that I'm finally putting things to rest. If there is any single negative thing in this house. I want it gone. So after talking to a demonologist, I finally got my answers. Now, you guys are probably now going to say, why didn't you get a priest round or why didn't you get like a shaman round? Well, I, I started this and I want to be the one that finishes this. So I'm going to go ahead and do it myself. Also, I've called in reinforcements. I have Alicia here with me, who is a developing medium and uh, she's just going to you know, be my support during this whole thing. Um, Alicia was actually there at Camp Follows as well. Um, and I believe you've been experiencing things yeah. in your home too. Mm -hmm. It's kind of scary to think that this thing, this entity uh, has attached itself to multiple people. Whoever goes to Follows Camp, this, this dark entity, egregore, demon, whatever you want to call it, is infecting people. And if they feed into this negative energy, it will grow and it will get way worse for you. I'm doing everything I can at this point, and, and if it works, great. If not, I'm sure you'll hear an update from that, but... So this is the St. Michael's prayer uh, that got sent to me by the demonologist. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and humbly pray. I keep saying it wrong. What does that rebuke? mean? Rebuke? No, like the prayer. The prayer. I've written it wrong. I don't know. Do it again. I'm like shaken. Are you? Oh, yeah, I'm like actually shaken. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil and all the evil spirits who prowl about this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Deliver us from all evil. That was difficult to get through. I'm like burning up right now. I know, now. so am I. Like literally like the sweat pouring off of me right now. Mm -hmm. Salt and water by casting thee as my word, so mote it be. Salt and water by casting thee, may no unknown forces be without true acceptance with me, as my word, so mote it be. After this though, it's unknown whether this was enough to move the spirits on and it has left Jade scarred as even to this day, she's still on edge in her own home. This wasn't enough to stop her though, as only a few weeks later, another paranormal investigation was uploaded and Jade seemed as confident as ever. Even with everything that Jade has done in the past couple of years, it wouldn't be until March 22nd, 2023, where Jade would find her most disturbing discovery yet. This would be the first time that her parents would get involved too, but it wouldn't be the paranormal normal that they'd find. It was something far more sinister. Damn, watch yourself all this broken glass. Whoa, guys. What? Doesn't that look like blood down there? Oh, yeah, it's blood. All right. I love it. It is blood. Here. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Let's get out of here. Whoa, it's all up here. Like piles of blood. Uh, really, really concerned with why there's so much blood in here. Uh, I don't really know if... <sighs> this is really intense. Dude, there, there was a human skull found in here. 
This is honestly, like, just so you guys know, this is probably one of the, the craziest, mon most unsettling things that I've ever witnessed on an investigation in my entire life, to be completely honest. This is really bizarre, unsettling, and I don't even want to be around it, but I think maybe somebody's, it's, it looks like somebody's been attacked here and the blood splatter has went all the way up, up here. That would make sense. It's everywhere. See. See. Yes, I do see. Was somebody hurt here? Can you tell me if somebody was, was hurt here? I'm gonna open this. There's blood inside there too. Yes, because it's coming from the top. Just take a few steps over here, just investigate a tiny bit further before we leave. This discovery would lead to Jade phoning the police to investigate further. A few days later, Jade would upload the video simply titled The Truth, where Jade would shed a bit more light on the entire situation. And I want to show you something that I left out of the episode because I just really didn't think too much of it. Look, 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 they're circling, they're circling around. All right, Tony. No, they're going around that, I think. <laughs> The footage isn't great, but basically there was a police helicopter circling the missile silo for about 30 to 40 minutes. So I looked over my drone footage and to my absolute shock, there was somebody there. I didn't see them, my dad didn't see them, and my stepmom never saw them, which is weird because it's a very large open area. This is a good bird's eye view. So here I am by the bus and my dad and stepmom are out in the open here. But lurking behind these bushes, you'll see as my drone flies by and catches the tail end of it. We thought we were there alone. But we were not. So whoever this person was did not want us to see them. So this is when I really started thinking. If somebody was trying to hide from a police helicopter, they would 100% go underground inside the missile silo to vanish off the radar. I believe that this person tried to leave after they heard that the helicopter had left. When they came up, they saw me, my dad, my stepmom, especially with their cameras, and then they went back under. I don't think that they thought that a family was actually going to go inside the missile silo. So their safest option at that time probably was to stay underground. But we did go down and we called out as well and there was no response. But it was very apparent from that moment that we got down there that there was actual movement going on. And I believe this to be that person trying to find a place to hide. Is there anybody down here? Wow, there's masses in here. Oh, it's going to take me a second for my eyes to adjust, that's for sure. Oh. You heard that? Yeah. On Monday the 13th of March, the day after the discovery, I finally got to talk to a detective. He was very helpful, very kind, and he was very confident that this blood wasn't from a, an animal eating its prey. I mean, there was blood splatter seven feet on the walls. He actually seemed pretty excited about it, but in a good way. He told me that he was going to send a couple of people up there as soon as possible to check it out, and he was also going to ask around to see what was going on with that police helicopter. He called me back five minutes later, and his tone, in my opinion, had completely changed. He was very standoffish. He's basically just calling to let me know that he was sending the case over to another detective and that was to send him the footage. There was no new information about the police helicopter and by the sounds of things he wanted me to send the footage over at the detective before they sent anybody out there. Keep in mind they had no idea that I was filming for YouTube so basically all I'd done was just send them like little clips of the blood that I found. At this point I'm like certain that this is a full-blown crime scene investigation and I didn't mind the episode not going out on the channel because I really just wanted to help any way I could but about 10 minutes after I'd sent the new detective the footage, he did reply. Thanks for sending me the videos. I'm quite confident in saying that the substance you recorded is not blood. 
I've seen a lot of blood at various crime scenes. Large amounts like that coagulate, separate plasma, very fast, given larger amounts of clumpy look. I believe the substance is likely some sort of food product. I don't know about you guys, but I can't think of any food product that looks like that. But since then it was so apparent that it had already been dismissed without anybody even going there to check this substance, to actually test it, the only other thing that I could do was actually send the footage to a friend who I know who's a forensic scientist and ask his opinion. And he did say that this looked like fresh blood. I believe that this looks like blood. You guys believe that this looks like blood. A forensic scientist thinks that this looks like blood. The only person that doesn't believe is the detective. So here's a very plausible theory that I have. So maybe there actually was an investigation and they basically just didn't want to alarm the community. They wanted to keep it on the down low. I mean, this stuff does happen more than people think, but the worst case scenario is that it didn't get investigated. And that's the reason why I uploaded the episode. I know something bad happened down there. Not only do we have this new information about the police helicopter, but we also have the footage from this unidentified person on the drone just walking around the missile silo where a large amount of fresh blood was found. To this day, Jade is still uploading regular top tier paranormal investigations to Ghost Club Paranormal. Her videos are going from strength to strength and it looks like nothing can stop her from going on to rival the likes of Sam and Colby or Twin Paranormal for YouTube's best paranormal investigations. And we will be watching Jade's page very closely as she continues her search for evidence of life after death.